Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm gonna show you how you can recreate this video and you don't even need much skill. I did this with a mod called Tick Rate Changer. Um, it affects the speed of your game and I'm now gonna show you how you can install it and also how you can use it. Um, I'm gonna put timestamps stamps in the video description and in the comment section. Click the first link in the description and choose the version that, that you want. There are all versions from 1.12 to 1.7. Click on download and it'll download automatically. Then click the second link in the description and download Forge for that version. Here you can also see that Forge is available for every version that you would like to have. In my case that's version 1.8.9 so I'm gonna download that. After skipping the ad, it'll download. Once you have it downloaded, open it up and it'll open a window like this where you can choose the installation path. But I don't recommend changing that because it's usually working like this. Now you gotta press the Windows key and R at the same time and a small window will open up. In that window, type percentage fdata percentage. You can also do backslash dot minecraft but you don't need that. Open that up, click on the minecraft folder and then search for a mods folder. If you don't see one, you have to create a new one. I already have a mod folder so I just open it up. Then just pull in the mod, the tick rate changer and you can close it again. In my case I already have it in there so I can delete it again. Once you have that, open up your minecraft launcher, click on new version, scroll till you find the forge version, select it and then click on play. Also you need to make sure that modded, historical and full versions is ticked or you won't be able to see a new profile. So I just created a new world and now I'm gonna show you what you can do. So there's the new command called slash tick rate and then you can see a few help things for example it says that the current client tick rate is 20 ticks the server tick rate also 20 ticks default is also 20 ticks and the tick basically is how how fast something is now the ticks per second is how fast something is for example uh, if I now set the tick rate to 10 everything is half as fast if I now jump up he off here it takes me way longer I can still move around the camera normally because I can also do this in normal and this allows you to do things way faster when you speed it up with editing software for example I could yeah I don't know it also works with with uh, without the without this edit but I can obviously go like this and then jump off of the sand um, if you can't do this in normal speed then well get good at the game but you can also do it in, in TAS and it's way easier like this you can frame perfect things for example if I wanted to jump off the, off the edge of the uh, sand exactly the edge I could go there and then see that, that was an almost perfect jump so that's what the tick rate changer does. You can also do slash tick rate, let's say 1000, and now everything is really fast. You can climb up mountains pretty fast, fall in water thingies and never get out again, because you can't press jump button ah, fast enough, so I could now build my way out. <laughs> You can go mining like this. <laughs> oh holy shit, that is super fast. Will I ever come out on the other side? That's what I wanna know. Let, let's test. Oh, oh, oh. We reached the other side. Let's check that out. How far we went. We just mined through this whole thing. So yeah, that, that's pretty insane. 
even though everything I do is theoretically possible in in normal Minecraft, uh, it's way easier like this. For example, if I place a villager right here and I take a bow, an arrow, nah, two arrows, and a water bucket. I could, for example, go up here, then change the tick rate to, let's say, 5. So it's four times slower. I could then jump off here. Oh, I don't, I don't need the arrows in creative. Yeah, whatever. And then, you know, fall down. Oh, I forgot to do the water MLG. But you could also do the water MLG. Um, yeah. You can get really creative with this. I probably didn't even think of the half of the things you can do. Um, some people al also use this for parkour. Um, that's cheating or not, that, that's for you to decide, but there uh, are extra rules for some things that it's allowed and for some it isn't. Why did I place... Damn, I, I did not know that works. If you place gravel fast enough... Wait, I, I gotta try that again. Also, you can uh, change the tick rate of the server to 2. So the server is really slow now. You can see the slow is even, falls even slower. And if I set my tick rate to 20, that's the, the normal speed, I can still... Wait, what? Oh, I, I didn't write honeycomb. But if I do this, and then the server tick rate to 2, I can see the... Um, um. Oh, okay, but, but that works. It seems like Gravel doesn't, doesn't want to do it. Now it kind of did. But yeah, you, you can punch sheep, and then they fly really slow. By the way, I'm not lagging, it's just... Yeah, m maybe it is like, I don't really know. Anyway, so yeah, that's it. If you made it this far, please subscribe for more. And yeah, I hope I'll see you in the next video. See you.